these fractions have denominators that are not place value, except for this one. Two tenths, we have a decimal tenth column. So this particular fraction could just be two in the tenths column. But the, re the rest of these have denominators that don't have a column name, tenths, hundredths, thousandths. These are eighths. Those are fourths. How do we get our fraction to become a decimal? It's actually fairly easy. It's a division step. Remember that the fraction line means divided by. So we could do a division problem with a 5 divided by 8. That's what this is saying. But in this particular case, the uh, 5 is too small for the 8 to divide into, so we're going to have to place a decimal point and start dividing. The decimal point goes straight up into the answer. 8 divides into uh, to 50 6 times. We have uh, 6 times 8 is 48, with 2 remaining. We're going to add another zero to it, just like we did before when we were making, uh, when we were working with our decimal numbers. The two remains. Eight divides into twenty um, two times. Two times eight is sixteen. Now we have four left over: sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I'm going to add another zero to it to accept my four. Eight divides into forty five times. That works out evenly. This is the decimal number, 0.625. One fourth. We would ba basically what we're ha what we're saying here is four divides into one. That's what it means. It's one divided by four put on a decimal point that goes straight up into the answer. 4 divides into 10 two times with 2 left over. I'm going to have to put a 0 here to accept my 2, the remainder. 4 goes into 20 five times. And that's, that's all. It's done. There is your decimal number, 25. In this case, we had 2 divided by 5. Let's put a decimal point on and a 0. Our decimal point goes straight up into the answer. 5 divides into 20 four times. We're done. 2 divides into 1. That's what this means. We need a decimal point that goes straight up into the answer and a zero so we can start doing our divi dividing. Two divides into ten five times evenly. Point five. Now we have all our decimal equivalents because we divided our fractions, the denominator into the numerator. Now we can do our percentages. Two places to the, to the right, 62. 0.5 percent, 25 percent. This one needs a zero on it. 20 percent. Again, we need a zero on this to make it two places over. 40 percent. And this one needs a zero as well. 50 percent. The fraction area is the only one that we need to, to change through division unless it has, like in this case, a denominator that names one of the decimal columns. 